What's up? Welcome back to Modern Traders. I'm Ben, be your host. Before we get started, I'm going to invite you over to the free Discord. We do have daily watch lists and call outs. Modern Traders LLC on Insta and ModernTradersLLC.com. And we do put a lot of work into trying to get these videos out for you daily. So if you get anything out of it, please do remember to like and subscribe. Get us a little love with the YouTube algorithm. On this week's episode of Weed Watch Weekly, we're discussing a uh, Flora company. So it's uh, near and dear to my heart as a Florida boy. It's a string of dispensaries, primarily, like I said, in Florida and the southeast. Uh, the company is called True Leave. It's an OTC company for the time being, but uh, True Leaf is a dispensary, like I said, uh, primarily based in Florida. You can see here they just have uh, locations just everywhere imaginable in the state of Florida and uh, also branching out throughout the uh, southeast in general. Um, it, primarily medical-based uh, dispensaries because uh, Florida hasn't approved recreation yet, but obviously you can see the potential here. Um, and it, Apparently they keep uh, keep very serious at True Leaf with their 20% off happy hour and a uh, very serious looking individual carrying bags from the store. <laughs> but looking at the um, company's uh, website, you can see that they have a, a wide variety of, uh, of products in their dispensaries uh, from the actual flour, vape car carts, concentrates, edibles, um, accessories. And you can see it's a very uh, user friendly website as well, uh, you know, just geared toward geared toward uh the retail shopper even though it is still a medical uh company on the surface i mean looking at the map of florida you can see it's just amazing coverage and just completely blanketing the state and i expect to see this grow like a virus throughout the southeast and um we expect to see this growth accelerated in the near future uh because they did have some big news that uh they are acquiring or merging with uh another company creating what they're calling a cannabis behemoth <laughs> but True Leaf is uh, merging with Harvest Health and Recreation uh, in a deal for $2.1 billion in stock. And uh, like I said, this is going to make them huge. It's, uh, Har Harvest Health and Recreation is a much smaller company, uh, you know, not on par with uh, True Leaf. However, the combination of the two do make them into a, a force to be reckoned with and just a, a good sign for investors seeing this kind of growth. And we can expect to see this growth accelerate as legalization spreads throughout the states and the country. Like I said, the uh, harvest shareholders will receive uh, 0.117 shares of True Leaf for every harvest share they held. And we'll end up with 26.7% uh, of the combined company on a fully diluted basis. And uh, True Leaf, like I said, has long dominated the state of Florida. And um, just to help me expand it, Harvest is a market share of 15 dispensaries in Arizona. And uh, just more recreational sales in January. The combined company will have a large scale presence in Pennsylvania. Um, you can see, just taking a look at the, uh, the chart here, that uh, True Leaf currently operates in six states. Um, this will bump them up to uh, operation at 11. They have uh, dispensaries, um, 87 dispensaries. Now they're going to have 126. Uh, their production is uh, 2.2 million. It's uh, bumping it up to over three. And the revenue is going to put them in that billion dollar club, uh, bumping them up over that billion dollar revenue mark, which is definitely some kind of, definitely a uh, major psychological uh, stepping stone. And uh, the resulting company it will be as large as uh, Curaleaf, which is another company in this uh, sphere that's, uh, you know, up until this point, has been more successful than True Leaf, but now they're going to be uh, getting a run for their money. And you can see they're just uh, well positioned in uh, Florida, Pennsylvania, and a lot of states that are waiting on recreational use to be legalized in. So this is just a company that you can expect to see catalyst after catalyst after catalyst every time some kind of legalization comes through especially in uh, Florida recreational use come through to just doubles their presence uh, at their existing dispensaries. And taking a look at the graph, you can see that this is actually a pretty expensive company at uh, $38.97 a share. Uh, but you can see just this steady, beautiful growth, just a uh, constant uh, uptrend, which you don't see a lot in the uh, marijuana companies, like the actual marijuana production companies have a lot of more up and down, but this is a uh, established dispensaries and you know it's just a lot more a uh, lot more certainty you know a lot less fear a lot less fud going into this so we're going to expect to see a continuation of this growth um it's already hit highs around 50 dollars and expected to return there pretty quickly after this merger takes place you can see it was a slight downtrend in the last five days but it's uh holding strong at that 38 dollar uh support level so we'll keep watching for that to hold going forward but i just expect a lot of growth and uh, before we get, uh, get out of here, just want to take a quick recap on Tilray. We are still seeing, um, after we saw that sell-off um, that we were expecting after the Afria merger, we have just seen uh, 
recently in the last few days uh, returned to an uptrend that I expect to continue at least up to past the $20 level. Organogram, same story. Last few days, we have seen this one start to rise back up. And like I said, this one does mirror the movements of Tilray quite a bit. But uh, with highs of $6 uh, just in the last uh, month or so, we expect a pretty quick return to that 4 or $5 level. And uh, I am personally playing contract plays on this uh, expiring in September that I expect to see quite a bit of growth on. And this, you know, the marijuana industry in general is just starting to get the attention again. So definitely keep it on your radar. Till next time, I'm Ben. This is Modern Traders. Thanks for stopping by.